Hey, this is Lewis, and in this video, I want to show you how to create WordPress testing installations in just one click. This is extremely useful if you want to test out a plugin or you want to follow along with a tutorial, but you don't want to manually create your own WordPress installation on your hosting provider or locally. So we're going to be using a relatively new service called InstaWP.com. This is a great service that lets you spin up WordPress sandboxes uh, in just a click. So here I am on the website, instawp.com, and you just click try for free, and then you get this orange launch your site instantly button, and this is going to fire up a WordPress install for you that you can play around with, and it'll expire, I think, after eight hours. Now, I want my sites to last longer than eight hours. You can get a free account, and the site will last a full 48 hours. So I've actually already created a free account. Let's go into my free account here. This is their dashboard. And I don't have any sites yet, so let's click New Site. And I'm just going to leave the defaults enabled, and I'll click Create Site. And there we go. Instantly, I have a new WordPress website. Let's click the Magic Login button. And here I am inside WordPress. So let's just prove everything works. So I'm going to go to Plugins and add a new plugin. And of course, we're going to be installing Breakdance, the ultimate website builder for WordPress. So here we go, that's uploaded. Let's go ahead and activate the plugin now. And here we go, Breakdance is now active. Let's go to Pages, and we're going to build a quick page with the design library in Breakdance. And we're just going to do that to test out InstaWP's templating feature. I'm going to walk you through some of the other cool features in the InstaWP dashboard that you can use if you have a free account. So here I am inside Breakdance. Let's build a quick page with the library. So we'll go to Add and then Library. Let's find a header here. So let's go to Headers. Let's add this header. That looks good. Let's go back to Library. Let's find some heroes. And uh, let's, use, let's use this top hero here. Let's go back to Library. We want to add some features. So let's go to Features. Uh, this second section looks nice there. Maybe we want some testimonials, so let's look for testimonials or social proof. And, uh, okay, let's add these four here. And then let's wrap things up with maybe a call to action. And uh, then let's find a footer. And uh, let's pick, let's go ahead and pick this one right there. And there we go. Beautiful page uh, created in just about a minute. Let's save this and go to the front end and prove that it actually works. And InstaWP does load uh, quickly on the front end. Let's just refresh that right there. And as you can see, after about a second, that page just loads up nicely. Looks great. So InstaWP does work. Now let's go into the InstaWP dashboard and show some of the other cool features. So the first feature I really like, and this is useful to me as somebody who runs a plugin company, may not be as useful to you, we sell products by letting people try out our products first. And back in the day, we built a service called WP Sandbox that was actually quite similar to InstaWP. And we use it to give our customers one-click demo of our plugins. For example, if you go to wplimport.com slash try, you can create a sandbox, much like InstaWP, where you can test out our plugin. The problem is maintaining the service was a nightmare for us. People would use it for phishing. People would use it to mine crypto. Uh, etc. We really didn't want to deal with it. We ended up selling it to Modern Tribe. They then sold it to Liquid Web, and mostly they're using it internally for their own portfolio of plugins. So I'm really glad somebody actually stepped up to the plate and built a service that everybody could use for firing up these demo installs. And these guys actually have backing from Automatic as well, which is super, super awesome and says hopefully they'll be around for the long term. Anyway, let's go back into the dashboard. They've got some great features here. You've got your list of sites. You get your one-click login. If you go to this dot, dot, dot menu, you can also migrate the site to a different hosting provider. You can export the site to local WP, which I'll be showing how to use in a different uh, tutorial. You've got a number of tools, for example, editing the database, viewing the logs, um, editing your code. You can add a password to the site. You can clone the site in one click. You can get in through SFTP or SSH. So really everything you need to test out pretty much anything. But let's show the templates feature. So this lets you turn any site that you create into a template, and then you create copies of it for further testing in just one click. 
So let's do that. I'm going to go to templates and let's add a template. I'm going to choose the existing site I just created to be the template. And let's just call this my uh, breakdance template site. And there we go. Let's make this a private template, but you could make it a public one and share it with the whole internet if you made it a shared template. But okay, we'll do a private and save. Okay, that template is now saved. Now let's create a site from this template. So let's go to sites. Let's click add new and we'll choose from template. We'll choose the template we just created and hit create site. And it's going to create that site. Let's give it a second. And there we go. Our website is ready. Absolutely great service. Let's click that magic login button and we'll log into the WordPress admin panel. And here we are. And as we can see, it, it copied everything. It copied our plugins over. It copied the existing pages over. Let's take a look. Looks exactly the same as it does on the other site, right? Here's the new site. Here's the source site. As you can see, the URL is different, but it copied everything over perfectly. So that is InstaWP. It's a great service. It lets you fire up a sandbox install of WordPress in one click. Go to InstaWP.com, click that Try button, and click the Orange Launcher Site Instantly button, and you can follow along with the tutorial or test out plugins or really do anything else with WordPress without having to go through the whole rigmarole of creating a site locally or doing it on your web hosting provider. All right, if this video helped you, it really helps me if you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great WordPress tips. This is Lewis, and thank you very much for watching.